Hello, folks. I'm Tommy in C2010, and I have a banana, and I have a banana. Hello, folks. I'm Tommy in C2010, and I have a banana, and I have some chocolate pudding. Oh, man. Don't eat it too quickly, Tommy. <laughs> I'm doing a live broadcast right now, Mom. Tommy, blue box yourself. <laughs> this looks wrong. Blue box. Blue box it. I am blue box. All right. <laughs> this looks wrong. So Tommy said, he told me to send Chris Perillo an email, and he wanted me to say how, Chris, I'm going to be doing a live stream where I'm eating pudding and a banana. I'm going to imagine the banana as your dick. Joe, shut up. I'm going to eat the whole thing. I'm going to dip it in the pudding. That's it. I'm not going to do it. Drew, you piece of shit. I'm just joking, man. You know I'm just joking. That's so absurd. You would never say anything like that to Chris Perillo, Tommy. No. Of course he didn't say that. I said, Tommy's doing a live stream of him and the banana, and you would like to chat. By the way, congrats on Vlog Affair. Can't wait for it to come to the East Coast. How's the pudding? Who made it? My mom. Let's see it, man. Let's get a good view of that. Did she make the banana as well? Yeah, did she make the banana? The banana? No. She bought it. Good one, Mark. Ugh. Man, talk about a lot of sugar, man. Yeah. So whatever happened to you going on the diet, Tommy? I'm working on it. I know. I'm just joking. I can tell by your profile picture. Um, folks, I'm I'm Tommy NC2010. I'm eating pudding here, and um, now where's Anthony? Where's Hang Anthony? Out. Just hanging out, eating pudding. Do do do. And send another invitation to Chris. Well, we're going to have to wait it out if we want Chris to come in because it's not like he's just sitting on his email all the time. And it's 6.30 over there. He's probably eating dinner. So you might have to get another banana and another cup of pudding in a bit, Tommy. Is that all right? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Why not? You you can pack it down, dude. You can muscle another one down. Nice teeth, Tommy. Let's see them. Get them all covered in pudding again. Nah, I'm fine. Get close to the... You're weird, Drew. What? You're weird. I'm weird. <laughs> What's weird about putting pudding all over your teeth? It'd be funny. Chris Perillo does it. <laughs> Folks, do you have some questions for Tommy while he's eating this pudding? Does he... I'm looking at live comments. Does, he, look... does he like the taste? There's no comments at the moment. No comments. Well, no. You got any good books back there, Mark? Got some classics, Tintin? No, I've, oh. got, I've got Tintin DVD. Oh, those are DVDs. Righteous. Yeah. Let's see now. Now that I take a closer look. Tell me you know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's tin, it's t tin, tin the nineties cartoon series. Tin, tin, Rin, tin, tin. Right, this is good book. Harry Potter. I got tin, tin DVD. Oh, those are DVDs. I just yeah. me. Whoops. So Tommy, what is your favorite type of pudding? Chocolate. You like it dark? Or just thick and creamy? 
I'm not going to do that for so if trolls will uh, take that and they'll mix it, sub it up, and try to make it me like I'm saying something else. I'm not going to say those answer those kind of questions, Drew. So you don't like it dark or creamy? Milky. I'm not trying. I just want to get your opinion. Don't be afraid of the trolls, man. They can't hurt you. I'm not afraid of trolls. 2010. I just think their videos are stupid. That's what, yeah. video That's what Chris said. Don't feed the trolls. Who's that? Or is that me? What did Jess just say on Tommy Talks? He was invited to watch a movie with his family. Instead, he's making a fool of himself. Extreme dislike. Bummer, man. You think she's watching right now? I can't tell. What movie are your family watching? What movie is your family watching? I don't know. You should go watch her with a man. Oh, who was the one that said, oh, Tommy, you should go do a uh, a live stream while eating pudding? Well, really? You were, doing any, you were just... You were... <laughs> you were just hanging out in a Google Plus hangout, dude. You weren't doing anything else. I didn't know you were actually going to, like, your parents or your family wanted to watch a movie with you, man. That's totally different. Uh -huh. Got no use. I got you no use for this plug. Ah, what's it doing there, man? It Get came with my camera. Get that American piece of shit out of there. It came with my camera when I bought it over, when I got it overseas, and I bought. They gave me a U, U.S. plug. Tommy, I thought Chris Perillo was going to come in. Ah, uh. too early for him. It could be a. It sounds like it's a waiting game, normally. Go get another cup of pudding, dude. We no, gotta, man, I'm not gonna eat another thing of pudding. Eat a DVD. <laughs> um, as you know, um, Mark Hyder is, uh, as much as I like Chris Perillo, uh, Mark Hyder obsesses about Chris Perillo, and. Uh, More than you? I think not. Oh, okay, I, I mentioned his name in like a few of my titles. But Mark you Hyder his name in every video you make. <laughs> Where? <laughs> okay, how about this? Go to Mark Hyder's channel and check how many times he mentioned Chris Perillo and how many times he... <laughs> Yeah. You hit a thousand and one videos, dude. What? You hit a thousand and one videos. Right now? Yeah, because this counts as a live. This counts as one of those videos. I just did a thousand videos. No, not yet. Almost though. You're close. Um, I think so, it could be. Because the last video was Chris I'm just gonna say this. Chris Perillo was over in London, England, and this bum right here got to meet him. This bum. <laughs> got to share some chips with him also. Some fish as well. Yeah, fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> How was the man? Was he taller than you? I was about the same height, actually. Whoa, really? You're about the same height? I'm about the same height, yeah. How tall are you, man? Because we want to know how tall Chris Perillo is. Not that it matters. I wasn't asked that question. I wasn't asked to tell that question. You what? I wasn't asked to tell how toy was. Can you tell us how tall you are? I don't haven't really measured myself. Damn, the mystery goes on. I invited Anthony to come in here, but he is apparently he doesn't hear it, want to man. come. Can't hear it.
Tommy. What? You gotta make this entertaining, man. Let's talk about Star Wars. Um, so, um, I don't know when episode six is coming out. No, episode seven. Uh, episode seven is coming out, but, uh, uh, recently, uh, also, by the way... It's not going to come out until 2015. Oh, really? Uh, um, what was the actor that recently passed away? I'm trying to remember his name. I did one last night for him. Johnny Travolta? God dang it. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go onto that video, because Drew uh, is talking to me right now. Jacob... Wachowski. Drew, you're a jackass. Bert Stroganov. Drew, shut up. Just shut the hell up. Was shut it? Can never get a straight answer. It's like when you hit. When you know, it's like when you hit live chat. You just turn into a troll, don't you, Drew? What? That's not true, dude. I'm not trolling. It was his, what was his name? James. It was someone with a J, right? James? James Gandolfini. That was a simple... That was You knew the name, but you just... You wanted to string me along like you always do. Haven't you seen The Office where Andy is trying to remember the Kit Kat song, you know? Give me a break, give me a break, break me sing off a song, that. Drew. Break me off a piece of that. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. He can't remember it, and they're not telling him. Remember? At the time, he said it was just an idea. And so, all right. Remember that time? Uh, and I'm nothing to do. See what happens. You should go watch that movie with your family. Um, I mean, I'm talking about the, the story that you told me about, about you getting the luck. All right. Uh, James, get... Um, he was a good actor, James Gandolfini, and I have to say respect for him. Uh, you know, may he rest in peace. Um, a shame he was in Italy, and um, in the midst of that, he uh, what happened was is that uh, basically he had a massive heart attack. A massive one. But, you know, good actor, and uh, Mr. Black, I passed him last night. He put a gun to my head and said if I ever said where he was, he'd kill me. So, uh... That's incredible. I, I don't That's know funny. if I'll be seeing him for a while. I told him about the death I of... I can't believe you just said that live on air. He's probably going to come hunt you down now, dude. You should be afraid. No, 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 no. He just said that. He sent a message to the people to say that he was going to be gone for a while. He didn't say where he was going. He just said that, uh... If I ever said where he was, he'd kill me. Um, one thing about Mr. Black is I know is he's very persistent. And uh, I, he, is, uh, he is vicious. He once killed a man with his thumbs. Just using his thumbs, he took his thumbs and went <laughs> to a guy's eyes. And then uh, with only his hands, he slit that man's throat. I heard. He slit his throat with just his hands? That's unheard of. No. Oh, yeah. He. What he did was is apparently he... Tom, he, all right. How do you feel about J.J. Abrams um, being the director of the new Star Wars movie? Well, what films has he directed? Um, Transformers, I think. What else? That wasn't... No, that wasn't... Uh, J.J. Abrams didn't direct Transformers. Oh God's sakes! If if I swear, if that director wow. directed Trans Transformers, um, I I will not watch the Star Wars. I will not watch Star Wars. Everybody knows who Michael Bay. Michael, I hate you, Michael Bay. You hate Michael Bay. Now Chris Nolan should direct the film. Oh geez, how that would look! How that would be interesting. Tom, um, all three of them—Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, and Mark Hamill—are expected to star in the upcoming feature. 
But the question is, they're too old. Carrie, have you seen Carrie Fisher? No. What does she look like these days? She's still hot. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, Tommy, number one. What? Mark. Hey, Tommy, it's been a long last show. Do Skype calls and try out some more suggestions. Oh, oh so I'm in the chat. This is not Tommy yeah. Talks. This is just a broadcast. Yeah, you can still answer questions. Folks, I don't know if Chris is going to come in or not, but uh, it's up to him. But sometimes, apparently, when I forget about it... We sent um, a message to Chris Perillo. We said, Tommy's going to be sucking on the biggest banana, dipping it in... No, the shut up. I, I will cameraman after you if you don't stop trolling. Wait, it took about half an hour before you... Tommy, no one is going to believe that you would ever say something like that to Chris Perillo. Um, well, now Chris Perillo is back home. He was over in Italy. Um, he was over in Italy. And, uh, well, uh, Mark, what is that, co what is that, what, what is that, by the way? It's just a comment from, a, from the live chat. Uh, number, n number one, Tommy Fan. Yeah, it's just doing some more Skype calls. This is not Tommy Talks. This is just a random broadcast. I hate how you guys what? tried to get me to do it. No, I'm not going to do it because this is what? just a random hangout and this is a random broadcast. So we I'm can not do gonna... random things, like randomly take questions or randomly take Skype calls from the fan. I might, I might do that. Live. I don't think do I'm, I'm probably should leave Chris alone. I probably should leave him. Do Hollywood. Every time we do Skype calls, Chris shows up comes up in the middle of the Skype calls, and that's a fact. And the fact is, Chris comes in during Skype calls. Because you see, Tommy, the thing is... Well, it's not Tommy Talks! I'm not saying it's Tommy Talks. Jeez. But they're, they're, they'll, they'll, always, they'll always ask me, and I'm not going to do it if it's not Tommy Talks. That's what it says. It doesn't say random hangouts. It says Tommy Talks. That's specifically for Tommy Talks. This is called Tommy Eats. It'd be where you eat your dessert one night of the week, and you just sit and relax. You don't stand up in a chair. You don't sit in a chair when you do Tommy Talks. You sit down. I mean, damn it. You're sitting in a chair right now. This is more relaxed. This isn't Tommy Talks. Obviously not. Let's talk about Dark City then. The Joker and Bane have teamed up. No, okay, I'll tell you the real story, what's going on in Dark City. Uh, right now, uh, Bane has come out of recuperation after the long battle between him and Batman, but Batman is nowhere to be found. Two-Face, on the other hand, has, uh, has taken refuge after the humongous attack came across Dark City from, ba from Bane. Uh, because of that, there was a humongous battle between Batman and Bane, and uh, we don't know who the victor was because Batman has not shown his face yet. Uh, the thing with Bane is now that he's come out of recuperation, now he's ready to take the city of Dark City, but he he has tried to take back over and destroy the city with his armies and uh, thugs, and uh, the fact is that Bane is trying to look for the one key, and he's trying to get the the, the president of the gangsters, and that's Two-Face. It's in president, the seat of... He is like the godfather right now for the mafia, and that's the one key that Bane, that Bane needs. And uh, if he can't get Two Face, he can't get that whole connection to the city. He can blow up as many buildings as he wants, but that doesn't mean he owns Dark City. Um, and in the midst of it, uh, Bane is trying to plot how to uh, take over the city, but at the same time, the Joker is trying to foil his plans to do his own plotting. He has his own plan to... He has placed several bombs in Dark City, and when the clock strikes midnight, the bombs will detonate and destroy half of Dark City so he can rebuild his empire. Bane knows about this, and he wants to take out Joker. And at the same time, they're rivalry because uh, the way knows who... You know, will Batman show up again and take out both of them? 
but the, the fight was so bad between Bane and Batman that okay. nobody knows if Batman will ever show his face. People even think that he's dead. He's not dead, but he just he's nowhere to be found right now. This is remarkable. And uh, right now, in Dark City, there is no hope. There is no no light. Wow. What a just, cliffhanger. It's a cliffhanger, and it's darkness, and the people will not come out of their houses. There, people are in their bunkers day by day, waiting yes, to. Bunkers, nice. The Gotham City bunker. No, Dark City. Quit calling. Oh, right, it right. Off. I forgot. I forgot I wasn't Gotham. And Dark uh, City. right now, everybody keeps asking, "Why will Batman not show up?" And I guess that's the feeling that is Batman is. He. For so long, he came back, and but nobody's ever just has not seen him since that since the fight. So I got a question for you, Tommy. What's that? If Batman's not in Gotham City anymore. Dark City, Jackass. He, if he's not in Gotham City anymore, and now he's in Dark City, <laughs> who's protecting Gotham? Well, Gotham is kind of like at a state of arrest right now because. Uh, I'm not following that storyline. I'm just having this Batman is in Dark City. So he's abandoned Gotham and moved on. I like it. Smart move, Batman. Um, would there be... Another question. Would there be any Dark City comics? I don't think so because uh, I, I can't make... Uh, you can't make money off of uh, the, the original Batman characters. Well, that's why I was thinking, dude. If it's not Gotham City... It should be something else. Like, it should be, like, Catman or the Iguana Man, you know? Catwoman. And he's running around the Chameleon Man. Iguana, he's sticking his tongue out. Sticking. Now, there's, uh, you know, it's it, it, it kind of... Uh, Tommy, people video. would like to see you do a banana bite. Oh, God. Son of a bitch. Just bite the banana peel. I don't have a banana with me right now. You have the banana peel, right? No, I'm not going to do it, Drew. All right, fine. Um, Someone wants to see you to do some Star Wars impression for the, in honor of the new movie. There is no, there is no fight. Only try. Please don't fight. Hmm. Who else you got, man? Uh, Mr. Potato to this cafe. Uh, nobody recognizes that? That's a uh, job of the hut? Yes. It's not Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Oh. Drew, oh. you did you did better. Uh, yes, I bet you have. Han Solo shot first. Weedo didn't. Oh, God. I just feel What's that all about, Tommy? Um, no, okay, get right this. Um, the director of Star Wars, when he redid everything for the old Star Wars movie, revamped it. He made it that Greedo shot first, I not Han, and Han Solo shot after him. Now, if you look in the original part, the original cut of Star Wars, <laughs> Han He's Solo shot ass. first. But then... The idiot director said, oh, oh, yes, I'm going to revamp it. They trolled him. They changed the video. Here he hey! is in the light train. It's Anthony Paderamo. About time I got the invite. I sent forever you to pop up. a hundred invitations and you never came. No, it just now popped up on my um, browser. Ooh. Anthony, who shot first? Uh, what is it? Uh, Han Solo or uh, the alien? Guido. Guido. Who shot first, Guido or Han Solo? Han Solo. Now, um, in your opinion, do you think it was ridiculous the fact that um, the director revamped... Folks, Tommy already ate the banana. Sorry. Uh, I told you, you think, go get another one. Do you think it's ridiculous that the fact that the director redid his whole product, and then released it and made it look like Greedo, Greedo shot first. 
It's no big deal. That's what they do. Anyways, about that banana. About that banana. Where did it go? Where did you? Where did you? Where did you put the banana? I ate it. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you put it somewhere. Oh. See, you don't yell at him. And why don't you yell at me? So, so if you, so if you ate it, you, how did you eat it? Did you, or did you? Uh, one thing you should know about Anthony is Anthony's a YouTuber. Oh. Anthony is a, well, you guys have seen him on Tommy Talks. He has his own channel, two different channels, and uh, he uh, has he's, a lot of interesting videos. And just to say, uh, he uh, he's a very interesting guy, very interesting guy once you get to know him. And uh, for this okay. past week, I've gotten to know Anthony. He never takes his headset off. <laughs> yeah. Never seen him. He can Other hear it's funny. Well, if I do, if I do, everything echoes. My speakers will go in there, and everything echoes. So I have to use the headphones. <laughs> Tommy, people really want to see banana bite. They're chanting banana bite, banana bite, banana bite. Well, and they're not going to get it. I'm your they're number not... one fan here, Tommy. You're looking hungry. Just take one banana bite. Just show them the peel. They don't even know that the banana ever existed. Mm -hmm. This is the banana. It is gone. I'm That's a banana. Gone. Hey, look, it's Onesia. It's a small version of Onesia. I'm a oh, banana. No. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Put that banana peel on your head. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, I have to get like a toy. Hold on a second. Just bite this the peel a little bit. <laughs> this is this is my impression of Onision. Hold on a second. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Banana power. Banana power. Banana Tommy, power. I, Chris Perillo want to see you talking about Onision. <laughs> <laughs> I just sent oh. you a message, uh, Anthony. On oh, it's on, uh, oh, on Facebook. Okay. By the way, that, I just so. want to let you know. I, 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 not, I didn't want to walk off here. I didn't know if you want to keep the secret or not, but Onision went to Vlogger Fair. And if I had the money, I could have met Onision and g gotten an interview with him. But uh, I didn't have the oh, money. Yum, but... yum. <laughs> yummy, yummy picture. Literally, yummy, yummy picture. Oh, guys, don't you be looking at. What's her name? Uh, what's the name of the people, person you're looking at? <laughs> Me? No, yum yum. What is her name? Yum yum or uh? This isn't that girl. This is somebody else. This is a picture I got sent on Facebook by Mark, and I'm like, yummy yummy. Oh. I don't. I don't really want to broadcast it here because I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful because the wife is coming home soon. You know. <laughs> kind of. Well, here, man. Anthony's she sees me looking at that. I'm in screen so share that shit, dude. <laughs> no, do not screen share that. Um, one on. thing you should know is Anthony's into Asians. Well, he's married to an Asian person. Tommy, your fans are saying, your number one fan is saying, do some slapstick banana peel slips. You know, like the Three Stooges. You know, classic Three Stooges banana peel slip. Slip it on the banana peel. Just put the banana peel in your room and pretend to slip on it. No, because you, you might hurt yourself. No, they want me to hurt Just myself. Pretend hurt yourself. They 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 want to see some. They see me get hurt, but uh, no, they want to see action, dude. The, do you think the three Stooges were ever actually getting hurt? Um. So, oh, by the way, uh, magic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this personally to Chris. Uh, Chris. Um. If you want to come in, man, and chill, uh, we understand that you were uh, over in London and you were very tired. And if you want to come in the hangout and chill with us, Mark, you remember Mark? He wants to see you and ask you some questions he forgot to ask you. Jason, got you got to meet Jason in person because he was in a, 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 a Meow Cat. What was it, a Meow Cat costume? Nyan cat. I was talking to Anthony. You know what Anthony did? He's walking and he's dancing at Vlogger Fair. This popular YouTuber is vlogging this horse. Anthony comes over and shoves the cat shoves the guy out of the way. It's like, yeah, I'm vlogging here, you know. I wonder how that guy felt. I wonder if that guy was pissed that Anthony did that. I don't know. 
the famous Nyan. Nyan. Nyan, Nyan. Tommy, they dare you to take a bite of the banana peel. I double dog dare you. Oh, jeez, something else the trolls can use to get just a little to... bite of the banana. No, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna proceed into their into their trollish needs. Hey, Tommy, you should lick it and taste it and enjoy the flavor. No, Anthony. <laughs> you don't want bananas, man. Don't talk about uh, Also, want to give a shout out to. Want to give another shout out. Um, uh, Chris, Chris is awesome, also. But there's other YouTubers I want to give knowledge to. Uh, cool Dooter, the Nostalgia Critic, uh, the Flick Pit Channel, uh, Wet Movie One. If you can hear me, Wet Movie, uh, this is out to you, man. Uh, yes, I still watch your channels. I, even if I don't comment. Oh, and also Sean C. Phillips, known as Cool Dooter. You have. Okay, here's the thing. I sent you comment after comment asking to interview you, and then you say you're busy. James Norton, shout out com, super taster. Okay, shout out to super taster also. Um, and a shout super... out to my mom! <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Hello, Anthony's mom. <laughs> I say the day that I, I was watching a vlogger. He recently passed away, and uh, I thought of this. I was watching his vlog. I watched all the way through his vlog. And uh, if the day that I ever die, I want my family to upload my last vlog onto YouTube. Tommy. What? Your number one fan wants to see you do some banana peel hat wears. No, Drew, well, quit quit reading the comments with that, okay? All right, all right, I'll stop. You stop. keep reading the comments like that. Just, just ignore them. They, uh, that will make them pissed off even reading. more. Like, you know, that if a you don't... A comment just came in from Leslie, but I'll stop reading. It's cool. Oh, it's Leslie? Are you being honest with me? I mean, you could yeah. do some things. It is comedy, He's you thinking know. you should also put the banana peel on your head like a hat. It's comedy, man. Comedy. Do it for comedy. Right. The banana mustache. Can he go to the banana beard? Now just take a bite out of it. He's a witch doctor. Uh. Tommy, do a shout out for Josh, your number one fan. Josh? Yeah. You had him on the show last week. Oh, you shout forgot? out to Josh. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, hold on a second. <clears throat> hey, YouTube! It's me! Oh! I'm always to be your best friend! Oh, by the way, Chris, this is for you! <laughs> Tickle me <the honor. laughs> And remember to get your propane accessories with that. And remember to get your propane accessories with that. Tom, you deleted those pictures I posted last night? They were weird. They were weird. I just sent you a new, a new link, Anthony. Declan's online. Declan the pedophile. Is that flat? What? I'm not a pedophile, man. Well, he's I'm not going to reveal the reason why he's a pedophile. It's private. It's a um, secret. The lotion goes on the skin or gets the hose. Now put the lotion on the skin. Entirely. Oh dear. Tommy, what's the favorite movie? Your favorite movie of 2013 so far? Drew, why did you resend the picture? I'm just gonna take it off my wall. I don't like stuff that. And you send it. I'm gonna delete it. I don't want it on my wall, Drew. You don't want these on your wall? Why not? It's weird. Why is it weird? It's just a close-up of your eyes. That's my eyes? Yeah. Nah, I don't want them. You don't want your eyes? I see my eyes all the time. <laughs> you want to... How do you see your own eyes, man? I see them through the light. You want to get some... Uh, see classic them. Tommy, are you trying to tell me you're going to get plastic surgery to change your eyes as soon as you have enough money? 
that's an epic picture right there. It's a picture of Joker from the, the, the from the eighties and Heath Ledger's Joker as they I think recently they made an action figure. Yeah, that's a really awesome picture actually. You see what it said at the bottom, Tommy? What's it say? Jack Nicholson, who played the Joker in nineteen eighty nine who was furious he wasn't consulted about the creepy role, offered a cryptic comment when told Ledger was dead. Well, Nicholson, Nicholson told reporters in London early Wednesday, I warned him. You think that's real? Maybe. That's probably. Out of so many jokers, out of so many jokers that have been created... The uh, it's interesting because um, Joker is one of those intimidating characters that just keeps on going. And uh, how far can they take it? Because you know, each Joker can you know Joker has to. I wonder how old he has to be. But also, there was one where he carved his face off. And how could you live without having your face attached to you? Apparently he was just talking about sleeping pills. <sighs> Mark, wow, I sent that's you a, link. a That's a sexy piece of work right there. It's a what? picture of Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy and Catwoman. Very well drawn. That's Where? a cool channel, Mark. You'll like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, where <laughs> is... Where is Johnny Depp and why, you know, it's ridiculous. They end the Batman series, but the thing is that um, they don't use what would have been epic, in my opinion, if they had if they had used, um, what was it, that they had used Johnny Depp as a Riddler. And Bane was good, but I think Johnny Depp would have been epic with uh, being the uh, the Riddler. Tommy. What? What, Drew? What do you expect to see in the future Star Wars? What do you want to see? Honestly, I don't know. I don't follow the Star the Star Wars. Jedi story. action. Also, can you put some sunscreen on that banana? Can you put some sunscreen on that banana? No. <laughs> it's a joke, Tommy, because there's a, a brand of sunscreen. Bananas in their logo. Oh, this one's funny. Batman is tied up, and uh, uh, Batman's tied up by poison ivy, and her plant, her plant, is like has its mouth opened up wide, and uh, poison ivy is like not wearing anything, and she is sitting on the edge of her plant, and she's looking at Batman, and Batman's just got this mean look on his face. Why were you not down for me to send you some porn earlier when you were asked, when you were trying to get into the sexy hangout? But there were no women there. There was just an animated video and a bunch of guys jacking off, and you said it happened to you all the time. I, no, I just think it's stupid. I really think it's stupid when people do that crap. Yeah, you know, they, they talk about. They honestly talk about um, the whole thing with uh, Harley Quinn in the storyline. They never got a chance to introduce Harley because of uh, Heath, uh, Heath Ledger's death. Harley, <laughs> this is hilarious. This is um, this is a. Um. This is really funny. Um, it's a picture of now. Imagine this. It's preschool, and all the Batman villains are out playing. Uh, the Mud Man is <laughs> in the mud pit, and Two Face has just been covered by mud, making it look like Two Face Joker is laughing, pointing at Two Face, and Harley is <laughs> holding up some flowers. She's just like, ah, and <laughs> of course, Poison Ivy is sitting down, and she's giving. Uh, Harley an evil look because she ripped off the flowers to give to Joker and also uh, was it uh, Scarecrow is just running around randomly with a bag Tommy, on his Everyone wants to see these pics you're talking about. And they're saying, would you please put sunscreen on the banana? This is another funny one. Joker's just got this gigantic look on his face 
and he's got a bomb behind his back. And it's <laughs> Tommy, someone said we're all never going to get laid. <sighs> oh, what do you feel like a spam? <clears throat> do an impression of the Joker doing a banana bite. Oh, How are you going to do that? Do some ball bounce banana bites. No, Drew, quit ball doing that crap. Banana. Can we see a banana bounce? No, Drew. Show us the pics, at least, of the Batman, then. I don't think I can show those. I don't How much have been drinking in that? Not having drinking anything. <laughs> Looks like you're slurring. You're slurping <laughs> some of your words. Uh, Anthony, I have a question for you. If you were home and the Joker showed up at your door, uh, what would you do? Ass rape him? Ooh. <laughs> Send me the pictures. I swear to God. What's sending me these pictures, Drew? What pictures? You're a liar, Drew. Oh, those pictures. Um, those are your eyes, dude. I don't want them, Drew. What's sending them to me? Um, so, um, just to say, um, shout out to William Mackinac. Uh, he's in a kind of a law right now. He's not making videos for, uh, he's, on, he's on his vacation. Just want to let you know that he has a competition. If you put a comment, he has a competition, you can win something. And if you comment on William Mackinac's Facebook or tweet him, William Mackinac at Twitter.com, you will win the prize. And I have also entered into the competition to try to win. So just to let you know that, that William Mackinac is having a competition to see if you can win something. What are you drinking there? Are you smoking a bomb? Oh, that's flashlight? Yeah, it's a little magnet. It's like bouncing. It oh, won't yeah. go all the way down. That's weird. Totally looks like a bomb, dude. <laughs> uh, guys, can you not play that music in here? Because that, that's uh, copyrighted music. All right. How do you know it's copyrighted music? What if it's not copyrighted? Oh, by the way, um, Anthony has made his own movie. Anthony, would you like to advertise it here on in this broadcast? The main course RPG, and soon you'll be unboxing it and showing your reaction to it when you well, watch it. Well, Anthony, you shouldn't have said that because I was going to surprise my viewers with that. Well, they know a box is coming. An now unboxing is coming. And I swear to God, Anthony, if there's a dildo inside there, I will send that back to you. <laughs> He's giving me ideas to send something to somebody else. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that, Anthony? We'll find out when he makes a vlog about the craziest things he gets in the mail. <laughs> He's going to watch this live broadcast. He's going to say... <laughs> Oh, well, how's the, okay? How's this dildo gonna look like? <clears throat> well, I don't know. It could be one of those. Uh, it could be a vibrating one. It'd be a textured one, you know. How about this? The Star Wars theme one. Oh yeah, they have those, Tommy. <laughs> Perfect. It says, idea. On the tip, it says, "Luke, I'm your father." Whoa. Oh. Okay, that might be going too far. <laughs> a little Darth Vader head. <laughs> um, it says Leia on the side of it. <laughs> Leia, Slayer. It says Darth Vader on the side of it. You can tell who's. <laughs> every time we get into Tommy talks, every time it gets dirty. Oh, yeah, I'm sure here. I can find that on the internet right now. Um. Anthony, I'm going to laugh if you do that, okay? I'm just I'm really going to laugh if you do that. I'm going to say, Chris, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> We're talking about another one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. You know, one okay. of them was a lifesaver. Did you see that? 
You know, what be uh, one oh, thing is uh, uh, a funny way a prank would be a, a funny prank is if uh, somebody was afraid of spiders to put uh, mechanize the buy the box mechanize. Oh wow! It. It's exactly like I said. Look at that. I must have seen <laughs> it before. That would have been that would be funny is <laughs> mechanize the box and put a fake spider in it. As soon as the person opens the box, the spider sh the spider shoots out, but it's a fake spider at that. I just sent you a new link, Anthony. Uh huh. Mark, are you gonna say anything? Are you gonna talk? Cause I know. Are you? What? Like, hang I'm out. Getting, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Well, if you, Mark, if you have to leave, you can. Okay. We're it's you know. Three in the morning over there, Tommy. You're keeping this guy up. Okay, Mark. If you want to leave, you can. Okay. Go get your rest. Yeah, I'll be up. I'm going to work today as well. Um. Uh. Anthony will talk with me. Um, so, Anthony, how long have you watched Chris Perillo? How long have I watched Chris Perillo? Yeah. Uh, it has to be sometime in the beginning of the year, but I've seen him on and off throughout the internet years. I didn't oh, even really? really. I didn't even really know he was uh, on YouTube because he had this uh, live uh, feed with a chat on it. When I knew about him in the past, and he used to do shows on TV, so. Um, and I and I recently just found out about he am actually having a channel. So I, I, have, have, I have, have, Right now, I have serious doubts that Chris would come in. Chris is coming off of a big trip from England. Mark Hyder got to meet him in person. He even had to have a um, beer. The people are going crazy. They're saying scaring people with spiders is a troll move. No, I would never do that. I'm saying I would never do You're that. You're saying you would love to get a bunch of spiders together and get someone who's afraid of spiders, put spiders all over their car or in their bed. No, I wouldn't, anyway, folks. The I number would one fan is asking you to do some comedy nose picks. No, wait. Some Skype Star Wars fan suggestions and expectations. Tommy just picked his nose. That was awesome. No, it's like this is the the fake pick. This is the he's like I wasn't picking. Come on, that wasn't a pick. He stole. We take some spice balls. <laughs> Tommy, we take some spice balls. No, no, that's funny. <laughs> Someone demands an apology from you, Tommy, for being very mean to him and leaving a trolling comment towards them. What? <laughs> they demand an apology. Apologize to them. Who? That? What was the comment? I didn't. I never troll. I never leave troll comments. You do all the time, dude. That's bull crap. Oh, I have a lead drink. I need a drink. I need a drink. I never leave troll comments oh. at all. And if I okay, the only <laughs> recently, um, Crazy Cuban uh, made a video on his other channel uh, talking about. This uh, this kid that was at a basketball game, and he he was in a, uh, a sombrero. You know, it, it was like it was a mariachi costume the kid was wearing, and he was at a basketball game. He sang the the, the national anthem very well. Oh, but on Twitter, people explode and just you know because he can say oh he's Mexican he shouldn't be singing the Star Spangled Banner. And I said, people should remove their asses out of their heads. That's the only time I ever said something like that in a comment. And that was recent, though. That was really recent. You've said other troll comments like, you know, like, you're stupid moron, you dumb idiot, quit doing this, posting You know stuff. what? I, well, okay, here's, I'll say why I said that. You are so stupid. No, no, get, no, get this. You typed that for me, Drew, but the reason why I said it's that... It's not the only one. There's more than that. The reason I man. said that was because I will not apologize for that because you more because you trolls paste my description into the, into the, into the, into the, into the chat, and it's like, oh, you, it's like you guys don't have a single brain in your head. Oh, I can actually type something and say something interesting, but no, I'm just going to click and paste and put the com the description into the comments. That's stupid. I'm just going to delete, I will block you first, then delete you uh, from 
even being noticed on my channel because I said that to defend myself. I was defending myself because I'm sick and tired of the crap of getting my descriptions pasted into the chat. And I swear to God, because there's no description in this one, so you jackasses can't paste it. Tommy, do you think you could eat an entire pound of bacon? Not really, without having a heart attack. <laughs> okay. I have a challenge for Chris. Uh, one of my challenges to Chris is for a whole day, wear my suit for a whole day, if you can. Chris, I'm, here's the thing. I know you don't wear suits a lot, but for a whole day, wear my suit, and I'll go for a whole day of just wearing a hoodie. If you will, if somebody will email this, uh, Anthony, or Drew, if you email this to Chris, this part of the, the broadcast where I say this, if he wears my suit for an entire day, I will wear a hoodie and jeans and some work boots around town in my vlog, in one of my vlogs. To the uh -huh. entire vlog, I will and not wear a suit. doesn't do it, we're going to go to his house. We're going to slash all the tires on his car. Drew, shut up. And then we're going to take the gas oh my. Oh my! We're gonna smash all the windows. Drew, oh shut God. up! Scratch it up. Hey, hey, That's it. You. I'm gonna mute we'll you because you. Just take the loadie. But uh, that's a challenge for you, Chris. That is the challenge. If you wear my suit for an entire day through a whole vlog. I will wear, I will make the promise, in one of my next vlogs, I will wear nothing but t-shirts and jeans. And you can even watch the vlog and see if I'm... No socks, no underwear, no jacket. I swear to God, Drew. Um, but, uh, yes, Chris, if, you, uh, if somebody will tweet <laughs> that to him, that I've said this in this broadcast, that I'm making a challenge to him to wear my suit... Now, Chris, um, uh, one thing was is um, um, Chris has not revealed at all of how that the pants fit him or not. I sent him a whole suit, a three-piece suit. I have, um, I got the suit from Goodwill, and uh, I was uh, I was glad that the jacket fit and the vest fit, but I'm hey, not hey, sure. Mark, if don't you think Tommy should do a YouTube series called Goodwill Hunting, where he goes to all the Goodwills he can find? And he hunts for the best deals. Oh. Finds him. Anthony, you know, Anthony's here also, Drew, okay? You should talk to Anthony also. What's that? I said Anthony and Mark. Yeah, um, he did. Tommy, um, people, uh, Mark, people want to see some more anime pics. Uh, <laughs> your number man one fan wants to see you do some book reads. Or some word spells. Let's spell some words, dude. Oh, it's Jesse Helbig. Who's I'll answer it. I what? must be on Wi Fi. What the heck? Who's this Who's Jesse? No, no Skype calls. No Skype calls. Tommy, can you spell pizza? <sighs> I'm getting For tired. Us. I need to go to bed soon. P I Z Z. A. A. Got it, dude. Can you spell this? No, I'm not gonna do any spelling, okay? Um, spell I'm what? gonna bed. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Well, folks, uh, say good night to Mark. Well, good Mark, night, Mark, if Chris Please comes play. in, if Chris comes in, we will uh, we'll let you'll see the broadcast. No, I mean, but... People are asking about the banana. They don't believe the banana ever existed. Where we got some new people here. Tommy had a banana. He ate it. Show him the cup of pudding. You guys are just oh, too there's still late. a ton of pudding in there, man. Lick your fingers, stick your fingers in it. Just ignore that, guys. I'm trying to see who was calling. Oh, hey, Jess. What's up? What's up, man? How's it going, dude? Good. Hold on a second, and I'll see if I can get you into... <laughs> uh, Tommy, they want to see you peel... I mean, chew the uh, banana. Tommy... Okay. Tommy, the, can uh, you invite Jess Helbig into the the Google Hangout? Uh, okay, send me send me his uh, 
uh, paste his. Uh, his I'll just send him a. I'll send a radio marker. I mean, his name is Jess Hilding. Hold yeah, on, I'm gonna I hang up. Hang up on my phone. I'll get you in a minute. Um, yo. I sent it to him. Okay. The Dreamcast guy. Oh, that's what I thought it was. Cool. Is this the guy that looks like has a setup exactly like Chris? No, I've been trying to get that guy to do a hangout with us, but Tommy. he's one of these guys that's just Tommy. way too busy. Tommy, would you please eat a banana for your fans? No. Chris Perillo would eat a banana for your fans. Oh, God, Anthony, quit showing that. <laughs> Uh, hey man, how you doing there today? Good. I'm trying to see if I can get this running on two different devices. That's it, Drew. I'm gonna... How are you doing there, man? Pretty good. How are you guys doing today? Doing Looks good. Like uh, could you come on cam? Fantastic. Yeah, man. your webcam's not working, so disconnect one of the devices or something. I don't know what you did. Drew. I just turned on the computer. You do some freestyle. I don't know what happened. It's the Android. Hold on, give me one second. Tommy, do some freestyling for us. I'll lay down a beat. No, not right now. I'm just doing this broadcast, and I don't know how long I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it for because I might go downstairs and watch that movie with my parents. <laughs> Guys, come, well, come, actually, come, come on, stick the banana up the butt. Yeah, uh, yeah. Stick it up there and rub it in and out. Guys, that actually, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. I am Tommy in C2010. And I'm gonna go watch that movie with my folks and uh, keeping you on the side. Fact. That's giving a lot of control.